What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, my friend Adam just bought his first van and I actually just heard him pull up, so let's go take a look at it. Oh snap! Dude! What's going on? What the heck, what'd you do? First, first, first one, huh? Yep. <laughs> Drove from LA to Riverside. LA to Riverside, no problems? No problems. Dude, that's so sick. I'm gonna post the for sale ad on the screen so you can see what he was looking at. He actually got a pretty sweet deal on it. Do you mind sharing how much you paid for it? 2700 2700 And I think on the ad it said like a rebuilt trans and rebuilt motor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 50,000 miles ago. 50,000? So I mean, my van again's at like what 250, so you still have like at least 200 more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that too. A new cat looks like it has on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Said there was a problem with it. Well, like one that he has. <laughs> Hopefully, this thing passed the smog. But dude, really cool looking little bus. I mean, it's definitely showing its age as far as like paint and like dents and stuff like that. But it's wearing all its original paint, and yeah, it looks gnarly. Few little issues like got some rust in the corners of the glass. I think he's. Testing, well, you're saying there's one on the front too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one right here. This one's all the way through. Okay. This one will have to get taken care of pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> but overall, things like super complete, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Little dinger right here, not bad. It's a little cosmetic-y stuff. This thing's gonna be a rock crawler anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is it locked? Uh, got it locked down. So it's an 86, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna buy a van again, I always recommend getting a water-cooled one. You can tell if they're water-cooled because they'll have this lower grill on it. I think 86 the first year of the of the square lights too. So yeah, before that they were round. Oh snap, was that for his dogs or something? Mm-hmm. No, hmm. no, no, this is for surfboards. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that part of there. Yeah. Right on, dude. Man, you're gonna have to do a full full custom job on this thing, huh? Right. Build out this interior. Mm -hmm. Wow, the same exact interior color as mine. All the panels are the same color, same dash, same everything, pretty much. I, I the dash is like brand new, it looks like. Really, underneath? Oh yeah, that's nice, dude. Oh man. Way nicer than my dash. Well, cool, dude. Well, hopefully, we'll take this thing for a ride, and we'll see how she does. It's got a 2.1. Mine has a 1. Point, oh, yeah, it's 2.1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have a 2.1. I have a 1.9. So I have a lot smaller of an engine. So I don't, I don't know if you could really feel the difference. Probably, especially because it doesn't have a lot of weight on the top because this is a 10 top. Right. And oh my gosh, that's such a cute little little pin up there. The Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. But what's your plans with it? Camping. 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 Hopefully. What, as far as the build out, what do you want to do to it? Like, what are some things you want to do? Yeah, to be honest. Maybe put put a, a bunk bed up there. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, huh? Do some yeah. kind of high top or pop top conversion. Yeah. I can see this thing with a little camper, a little stove set up in there. Yeah, some awesome. little cabinetry in the back. Mm -hmm. Throw some all trains on there. Go off road in a little bit. Go to some remote locations. And yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the batteries are under here on these buses. You can put an auxiliary battery under there to power whatever else you want, like a refrigerator and stuff like that. But man, there's so much stuff you can do with these. I'm super stoked Adam got one because now I have someone to go camping with. <laughs> What'd you say the name of it was? The name? Champagne Dream or something like that? <laughs> Champagne Dream over here. Man. Let's take this thing for a spin. Key in, neutral, clutch in, gas. You can feel it. It's yeah. weird. Really smooth. Take your hands off the wheel. No. Good on it. <laughs> Lineman's great. Lineman's straight up. Don't your brakes. Brakes nice and straight. Solid. And on the wheel. Overall assessment. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so we just drove this bus all the way around town, did great all the way. It runs and drives super nice, way better than I even expected. So, Adam's super stoked with this purchase. I'm actually stoked with it too. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to see a build out on this thing. We plan on taking this thing all the way as far as like interior and just making it into a total, total camping rig. 
But uh, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. If you have any ideas, any comments about this van or what kind of mod we should do first with, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.